Are you a thief? <laughs> Where are you getting the money from? Okay, guy. <laughs> But it's an increase, an increase is an increase, okay? Anyhow it comes. Like, what are you looking for there? <laughs> You're welcome to the Pleasant Heart Podcast, hosted by me, Adeze. Here, we discuss life as we know it to help us live life as we want it. So today, I'm going to be talking about five ways that you can save money this year. Trust me, you want to stay for the last point because it's a very funny point, but it's very true. So let me just start by saying this here. You simply cannot save your way out of poverty. It doesn't work like that. This is not the 1950s. This is not the 1900s. <laughs> this is 2022. You cannot just save and save and become rich. I'm sorry to break it to you. Inflation is going to steal your money. So many things are going to steal your money if you just save your money and keep them in the bank. So, one of the ways to save money this year is to make more money. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze. I make videos about motherhood, womanhood, and lifestyle. I hope you guys are doing good. I know a lot of us have goals about how much we want to save this year. One thing I'll say is make sure you have, you know, concrete things that you are saving for or concrete reasons why you want to save. Don't just save because everybody says to save, everybody says to invest. Save because you have a goal in mind, okay? I think it helps you stay on track, okay? That's if you're disciplined. For me, this year, my major... I didn't really have a New Year's resolution or anything like that. The one thing I said I was going to do this year is to become more disciplined, okay? Disciplined with my money, disciplined with my time. Just simple, okay? I just want to be more disciplined with my fitness, with my health. That's it, okay? I'm not, I'm not writing anything. That I'm not doing any vision board, okay? I've done all those things in the past. Those things work, okay? I'm not going to say they don't work. They actually do work if you stick to them. But I'm just going to dial things down and make things simple this year. I'm simply going to be disciplined in every area that I can, okay? Yeah, so one of the major ways that, you know, I'm planning to actually save more is to make more money because the truth of the matter is there is a limit to savings, okay? If you're making 100K per month, 100,000 Naira, okay? If you're making 100K per month, you can only, that is, if you don't even spend anything from what you make, you can only save 100K per month. Like, you can't save more than that. I mean, are you a thief? <laughs> Where are you getting the money from, okay? So if you're not a thief, if you're not stealing someone's money and you're simply saving everything you earn, like you're living off of your parents, you're not spending any dime, and you're earning 100K, you can only save 100K, okay? You can't save more than that. And again, like I said, inflation is going to steal that 100K from you. In the next 10 months, in the next one year, your 100K is going to be worth maybe 50K or even less, or you know? So you have to figure out how to make more money this year. You have to increase your capacity to earn, okay? One of the ways to increase your capacity to earn is to take certifications, to learn, okay? To learn certain, you know... Um, things that will help you improve in your workplace as if you're working, if you have a job or even if you have a business, you need to go and learn more about your business, how to better do your business, how to better do your job, how to do better jobs or other jobs or just get certifications. I don't know. You guys know how those things work, okay? Just get certifications, learn, take out time to pay for courses and learn, okay, so that you'll be able to improve your skills to you know, be able to learn to earn more, right? Another way is to renegotiate your salary, okay? Renegotiate your income, your salary. You just have to take the bull by the horns and just go and meet your employer and try to renegotiate your salary, okay? If you've been earning the same salary for months, it's time to go and meet your employer and say, guy, okay, guy. <laughs> you be you be man like me or you be woman like me, okay? We need to, or you be person like me. You need to pay me more money because this country that we're living in, you know, we're not, the inflation is killing everybody. <laughs> okay, not, it's not that simple, okay, but try and renegotiate your salary. Try and, you know, look for better ways to demand more salary, okay? One of the ways people demand for more salary is to go and look for jobs elsewhere and then come back to their employer and say, look, oh, I've gotten this job in so-so and so company and they're willing to pay me so-so and so amount, which is more than what you're paying me here. Okay, so I really like you and I really want to keep working for you. Um, why don't you increase my salary so I don't have to move to XYZ, okay? Yeah, I think that's how it works. I've not done it before, but I think that's how it works. Um, yeah, and if you improve your skills as well, if you now, you know, have extra certifications, if you've gotten, you know, more education, maybe you've gone for your master's or you've done some online courses or whatever, you can meet your boss and say, see, I am 
now more qualified um i think i deserve to you know get a raise yeah most times your raise or sometimes your raise is going to come with more work but like i said be ready to you know improve your capacity to earn so you might be willing to so you might actually want to take more work on okay and that's another point yeah you can volunteer to take more work on in your workplace it might actually trigger your um employer to or encourage your employer to you know try and give you you know give you a pay raise because they've seen that you are doing more you're taking on more projects you are you know taking on more advanced or projects that involve more skills or better skills you're not taking them on and you're doing them well they might want to you know give you a promotion or you know increase your pay your pay okay so at the end of the day you have to do what it takes for you to actually get more out of your employer another way is to simply get a new job yeah the more you move from job to job most times majority of the times the more your salary increases it might not be a very huge increase but it's an increase an increase is an increase okay anyhow it comes it's an increase so you might want to look for a better job or you might even want to change career paths enti entirely okay you might want to just say you know what i'm done with this banking i need to go into you know retail or whatever i need to go and start selling stuff i need to do this business or i need to go into oil and gas or whatever but you might have to just change career paths entirely it might not be that easy okay um yeah it might not be easy but like i said you have to do what it takes if you know you want to save more because there's a limit to saving and that even ties into you know getting a side hustle that's another way to increase your capacity to earn is to get a side hustle okay i will increase your earnings yeah you have to get a side hustle you have to look for ways to make money on the side and this point especially relates to stay-at-home moms as well i'm a stay-at-home mom but i do youtube that is how i make money because yeah my husband can take care of me he can you know give me a salary which he does he gives me a salary and all of that but it's not enough my dear my dear sisters and brothers it is not enough because he too is a worker okay so he can only give me out of his salary he cannot go and steal and come and give me you know so at the end of the day for me to have more money to do what i want to do i had to get a side hustle or i had to get a hustle or i had to get you know a business or something that i'm doing and that was how i ventured into youtube so if you're a stay-at-home mom i have nothing against stay-at-home moms i actually encourage women to stay at home especially when you know all things being equal you have a good spouse who is giving you money who is taking care of you your job is just to take care of the home and take care of the kids I encourage women to do this because especially when you have younger children, it's really not easy to really be working when you have babies at home or you have to put your babies in crutch. It's, it's very heartbreaking for a lot of moms. I'm not one of those people that will tell you, go and get a job, go and get a job. No, you don't have to get a job, but you can get some side hustles. You can get some things that you can do from home. You can create content. You can make things. You can bake. You can cook. Things that, you know, come easily to you, you can actually do them for extra pay okay so yeah get a side hustle that's one of the best ways or one of the easiest ways to increase your savings because if you're you can actually just spend only your salary and save all your income from your you know business or your side hustle okay so yeah another way is to relocate yes you might have to change you know jobs or change cities or change location entirely for you to be able to make more money okay some people relocate cross atlantic relocation some people have to go to entirely different countries. Some people have to move to entirely different cities. Some people have to move to entirely different locations, you know, within a city. But you might have to relocate, okay? Especially when you're single, when you don't really have so many, so many ties to a particular location. I, I, I encourage you, I advise you to just relocate and look for better jobs, okay? If you're in Nigeria and you are, like, especially when you're young and you live in somewhere like Potak, Potak is even good. Maybe you live somewhere like, you know, Asaba or something, I might advise you to just, you know, find your way to Lagos. There's a reason why Lagos is overcrowded, okay? Just go and join the statistics, okay? Just go and join the overcrowded Lagos because especially if you're young and if you have some certain, if you're in a certain, you know, line of business, the best place for you to be might actually be, you know, urban areas like major cities like Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. You know, trust me, you just have to make that sacrifice from when you are younger. When you are older, you can relocate back to your Asaba or Uyo or wherever. But when you are still young, you are still vibrant, you still have a lot to do. I advise you to, you know, go and find a, a better city that better suits your hustle or what you are doing. Even on YouTube, you know, I had to make some changes to my channel and you know the kind of content that i make just so that i can make more money okay you know get more sponsorships and all of that so 
there's no shame in, in admitting that your money, what you're earning is not enough, my dear. Like, there's no shame. You have to just tell yourself the truth and make the changes where you need to make the changes, okay? Yeah, so all of that was my first point on how to save, okay? So now my second point is unfollow pages, social media, you know, things. Unfollow people that make you spend more money, okay? I did a lot of that this year and I already feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I was scrolling on Instagram and it was like I was just... Imagine just... Imagine your social media being like Amazon. Like imagine if your source of entertainment is scrolling on Amazon. You're just scrolling on Amazon. You're just looking for... Like what are you looking for there? <laughs> what are you looking for there? You are most likely going to spend money if your, if your social media is Amazon and AliExpress, okay? And that is what Instagram became for me. Instagram became vendor after vendor after vendor after vendor. Like, and then, okay, one inspirational post here, one uh, uh, influencer here who is, you know, trying to influence me to buy something as well. You know, it became too much for me, okay? If you have the discipline, if you can scroll, scroll past those things without buying them, Kudos to you. I don't know how many people in this world can, but kudos to you. There's a reason why influencer marketing is a very big deal, okay? I'm not against influencer marketing. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm an influencer myself. So many things I have bought, I bought them from influencers, okay? Like, in fact, <laughs> if there's anybody that gets influenced very well, it's me. If my friends, you know, that are influencers or if someone I follow that I love recommends something, I'm most likely going to go and look for that thing. The one I'm looking for now is Steamer because Jackie Aina, you know, steams all her best sheets and stuff like that. I'm looking for a Steamer, okay? I'm not unfollowing her. I must buy that Steamer, you know? So I'm not against it, but I'm just saying if it is getting too much, especially when you're following pages that... You're really not get, getting anything from you've really maybe you've bought from them in the past and they were not fantastic things. Why are you still following them? You know, so I I unfollowed a lot of people, even my faves, even people that I really like, I unfollowed them because I know that okay, whenever I'm ready, if I really need that thing that I want to buy from them, like if I need this dress, if I need this, you know, hair product or makeup or you know, skincare product, there are people that I already know and I already trust, okay, and I know their pages by heart so whenever i'm ready to buy whenever i need those things and i really need to buy them i'll just go and search for them and i'll go to their website and i'll go and buy them straight you know so that was why i unfollowed those pages because it got to a point that i was spending money on things that i really do not need so i just told myself you know what i'm just gonna unfollow okay i'm going to keep using what i already have when i need them when my skincare products finish completely I'm going to buy a new set, okay? When my makeup finishes completely, I'm going to buy a new set. When my clothes or whatever finishes or, like, I really need a change, then I will change. I don't need any social media to come and tell me when to change. I'm just going to change it when I need to change it, okay? So the next thing which I started doing this year and I have never done it before is a jaw, okay? Um... Well, how do I describe a jaw? A jaw is like contribution where like 10 people come together and say, okay, every month we're going to contribute um, 100K and then at the end of the, and then each month one person takes 1 million naira, okay? Does that make sense? So if 10 people contribute 100K in January, whoever is collecting in January is going to take 1 million naira. Then in February, the next person for February is going to take 1 million naira, okay? I noticed that I wasn't really saving as much as I could you know, just using piggy vests and stuff like that. I wasn't really saving as much as I could because, yeah, I will save money in piggy vests and then something will come up and I'll go and collect the money back, you know. So in this case where I know that I don't have a choice, like I have to give the money out because these are people people that are collecting the money. It's not me just keeping the money in my account. It's people that are collecting the money, you know. I felt like it was going to help me to, you know, be more disciplined with um, saving okay so that's why i joined an ajor but in joining an ajor i was looking for early dates so i was looking for early months like either to collect january february march because trust me inflation and all of that why do i want to be contributing money all year round only to collect last like i don't understand I don't, it doesn't make sense to me um if you've been watching my channel i've talked about piggy vest a lot they're not paying me so i can't come and be talking about them every time so go and do your research okay go and do your research i have a link in my description box i think you know to sign up for piggy vest and you get 1k if you um you know start saving money and all of that so go and do your research there are so many other apps you know aside piggy vest that you can actually do those kind of things with um but for now it's only piggy vest that i know i think i know of cowrie wise i've personally not used them but i know someone who does okay so um yeah so i'm doing a job but i'm collecting my money earlier so that i can you know, go and save the money in piggy vest, lock it in piggy vest, basically. But you have to really be careful if you want to join an job group. You have to be careful. I've been hearing stories about people that they chop their whole money, like somebody just took the money and ran. And I'm like, huh? 
how <laughs> you know don't people know who you are dealing with like yeah so if you want to do a job be very careful and be sure of the group that you are joining but yeah i think it's a good way to save money if you are one of the first to collect okay so another way that i'm going to be saving money this year and i've talked about it already is the piggy vest okay auto um what they call it auto debits yeah so where every month they automatically collect a certain amount from my account and it is saved on the piggy vest app okay so for that one i'm using it to do target savings to save towards certain things okay so yeah that's why i'm doing that one i'm doing target savings on piggy vest not just saving for the sake of it but saving with a target in mind so there's an end date in mind there's a reason why i am saving that money and i'm saving them in different categories so this money auto debit is for so and so and it's going to end on so and so date this money auto debit is for so and so and it's going to end on so and so date okay do you guys get that yeah so that's basically another way that i'm saving money this year and then the last way okay this might sound funny but it's just the truth. The last way I am saving money this year is by sleeping more, is by going to bed, is by taking naps, is by taking power naps, is by lying down in the middle of the living room and sleeping, <laughs> is by going to bed early. Okay, okay, it might sound funny, but it's actually, you know, true and actually a way that I have figured out that works for me, okay, especially one thing is. Aside the benefits of sleep, you guys know that sleep is very, very crucial to your health, to your well-being. You really need to sleep. You really need to have, you know, to have good sleep, okay? Sleep well and sleep long enough, okay? Not just sleep well, but sleep... Anyway, sleeping well entails length of sleep as well, okay? But it's really, really important for your health for you to sleep, okay? But one thing I've realized that works for me is, number one, when I'm sleeping, I am not shopping, Okay, I'm not shopping when I'm sleeping. I'm not scrolling mindlessly on Instagram or on wherever I'm finding things to buy. Okay, it might sound funny, but it's true. If you go to bed by 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., you will not be awake by 11 a.m. seeing food or or one item that you ah, that you know you now suddenly feel like you know getting and you get it by that middle of the night. Okay, no, if you're sleeping. Except in your dream, that's the only place where you're going to be shopping. If you're sleeping, you're not shopping. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm going to sleep more this year. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but that's just the truth. I'm going to sleep more, okay? And another thing, okay, aside sleeping, you know, aside not shopping, I believe that when you sleep more, when you are healthier, when you, you know, you're thinking right, you're in the right frame of mind, your spirit, soul, and body are together, I feel like you make better decisions in life in general, okay? You make better decisions in life in general, and then you make better decisions, better spending decisions as well, okay? So, um, whenever you are well-rested, you're, you've slept, you're happy, you're cool, you might not, you know, buy things out of stress or out of, you know... If you're someone like me that... If you're someone like me that stress eats or stress buys or, you know, retail therapy and all of that, you might not need them because you have slept well and you're feeling better, okay? So, look into it, or it might sound like a joke, but actually, I'm actually being serious, okay? That's why I wrote it as a point, Okay? you need to sleep more this year so yeah that's it for today's video those are the ways that you can save money um yeah this year i know a lot of us are trying to save money but let me tell you something let it not end at saving money you have to invest your money investing your money is actually a way to increase your capacity as well to earn okay so you have to save to invest don't just save for the sake of saving because like i said you cannot save your way out of poverty this is not the 1500s okay <laughs> this is 2022 a lot of things are going on a lot of changes are going on in the world you have to make your money work for you so in a different video i am going to talk more about investments okay so i'm going to make a video entirely about investments but yeah that's it let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me know what you guys think about this topic let me know you know the ways you yourself you've been saving money or you're trying to save money this year or decisions you've made what are your new year resolutions do you have new year resolutions because i don't have okay like i said maybe my new year resolution is to discipline basically so let me know your own new year resolution and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys